Welcome back to today's video. Let's just jump into it, right? Today we're doing, not literally doing, but we're, we're reviewing Kaguya-sama Love is War. On with the review hat. There. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm like I, like I did with the last video, I'm going to try and make this a little bit more structured than usual, where I basically go with the kind of neutral aspects, which is generally just a vague idea of what the show is and what's in it and then i'm gonna list the pros and then i'm gonna list the cons and when i did this my finger made a weird sound also i haven't slept yet it is 7 a.m i couldn't fall asleep last night so if i say anything weird or something that doesn't make sense then uh that's why so i guess to just jump into it to start off it's basically it's a high school for really wealthy or really intelligent mostly wealthy people uh, or in families and there are two main characters the first one is a boy he's a hard worker and he's a student council president he's very dedicated to maintaining his his grades because he knows he's not super wealthy like a lot of the other people and he's the top of the students so he has to maintain the only thing that he feels is really keeping him at the top the other main character is the girl Kaguya uh, I couldn't remember the boy's name for some reason i'm sorry should have written it down but anyways she's she's super wealthy her family's super wealthy she's considered a genius and she is the student council vice president and they both like each other but they can't say it they won't say it because they believe that whoever tells the person that they like that they like them then they lose which hence the name kaguya-sama love is war they have this preconceived notion that whoever ends up confessing their love to the somebody else first ends up being the like beta of the relationship they end up being under the heel of whoever they're going out with so that's basically the premise of the show there are other supporting characters uh especially chica and we all know and love chica from the one time outro that they did that had such ridiculously amazing animation i don't know why or how they got the budget for this They rotoscoped it, which if you don't know what that means, it's basically like they used someone else's movements to make the animation, which is really time consuming. There's also Ishigami, the other supporting character. By the way, these other two characters are also on the student council. And he's kind of the accounting, super shut in, but kind of, but a surprisingly smart kind of guy. His social skills are shit, but that just adds for more comedy. And Shika's kind of stupid, but her family's rich, so it's okay. There are other supporting characters as well, some that are not showing up as often as others, but we're not gonna get into that. So for the pros, so first off, I actually think this show is kind of cute as well, where the animation and just certain scenes are, you know, fairly adorable. And as I stated before, I think the show is hilarious. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be funny. I thought it'd be like just another generic, you know, rom-com kind of anime like like any other show taking place at a high school with you know two kids that fall in love but they can't say it i thought it'd just be another one of those like and in a way it is but the way they handled it it's it's just hilarious to me like i mentioned before they have quality animation and another thing that really makes the show good is the narrator the narrator is this guy that like has this super you know shogun or whatever, I type voice where he's like, You know, that kind of like over dramatic narration for these two kids. And last but not least, uh, following narration, there's the uh, intro, the OP. Give it, give it a little listen. It's, it's fine. Did you like it? If you didn't, I hated it at first too, don't worry. I actually really disliked the intro at first, but for some reason it grew on me and I know a lot of other people like it and now I have learned 
to love it, I have become a man of culture myself. Honestly, I feel like I'm skipping a lot of shit just because it's 7 in the morning. But on to cons. There's really only one con, and it's kind of a stretch for me, but it does kind of follow up with my biggest complaint with Mysteria Friends, was that the characters are kind of stupid. Like, they're supposed to be geniuses, most of them, but they're kind of stupid. Like, they overthink things way too much, but I guess that comes with them just being young. So I guess that's to be expected from people that are around their age anyway. I know I overthought stuff a lot too when I was like 16-ish, but again, they're supposed to be geniuses, so they do do things that make me go, that doesn't make sense considering how smart they're supposed to be, but that's really the only con I can think of. I don't really have any issues with the show, like I don't even actually consider that a main issue for me, but I did notice it, so I'm listening as a con. So yeah, defying my low expectations, I'm giving this show a 5 out of 5. Highly recommend it. I think you all should watch it. I just, I think the show is hilarious. It's definitely not to be taken seriously. It's not supposed to have any kind of, you know, major plot or anything, I think. It does have a backbone to it in terms of there is a little bit of development over the course of the show. You know, they become, the characters become a little bit more open or they become a little bit more accepting of certain things. They just, they grow a little bit. They don't just be, become stagnant characters like in other slice of life shows. So it's not like it's a completely aimless, but for the most part, it is. Anyways, I hope you'll watch this, this show and I hope that my, you know, seven in the morning, no sleep rambling of the show gave you some insight onto what it's like. Maybe just a little bit. I probably shouldn't have recorded this this early, but I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and never forget, eat ass.